In the world of Etheria, elemental manipulation was not just a gift but a way of life. From the soaring peaks of the Frost Mountains to the fiery depths of the Emberlands, humans wielded the power of the elements with skill and finesse. In the bustling city of Ardentia, where the convergence of elemental energies was strongest, lived a young orphan named Lyra. From a young age, Lyra had been drawn to the whispers of the wind and the dance of flames. But as an orphan, she struggled to find her place in a society where lineage and status define one's worth. Her days were spent scrounging for scraps in the shadowed alleyways, her only solace the gentle caress of the elements that whispered secrets to her soul. One fateful evening, while rummaging through the remnants of an ancient ruin on the outskirts of Ardentia, Lyra stumbled upon a hidden chamber buried beneath the rubble. There, bathed in an ethereal glow, lay the artifact that would change her life forever, a crystalline amulet pulsating with untold power. As Lyra clasped the amulet around her neck, she felt a surge of energy course through her veins, awakening abilities she never knew she possessed. With each passing day, her control over the elements grew stronger, but so too did the whispers of darkness that lurked within the depths of her newfound power. Unbeknownst to Lyra, her discovery had not gone unnoticed. Deep within the heart of Etheria, a shadowy figure known only as the Voidcaller plotted to harness the power of the elements for their own nefarious purposes. As Lyra delved deeper into her abilities, she uncovered fragments of a dark prophecy foretelling the rise of a chosen one who would either save or doom their world. Caught in a web of intrigue and betrayal, Lyra found herself torn between two opposing forces, the Elemental Council, Guardians of Balance and Harmony, and the Cult of the Voidcaller, Disciples of Chaos and Destruction. With the fate of Etheria hanging in the balance, Lyra embarked on a perilous journey to uncover the truth behind the prophecy and confront the darkness that threatened to consume her world. Along the way, she forged unlikely alliances with beings of fire, water, earth, and air, each imparting wisdom and guidance as she struggled to master her powers. But as the final confrontation drew near, Lyra faced her greatest challenge yet, to confront the shadows within her own heart and make a choice that would determine the fate of Etheria. In a climactic showdown atop the ancient spires of Ardentia, Lyra confronted the Voidcaller, their powers clashing in a dazzling display of elemental fury. With the lives of millions hanging in the balance, Lyra made her decision to embrace her destiny as the savior of Etheria and vanquish the darkness once and for all. As the echoes of battle faded and the sun rose on a new day, Lyra stood victorious, her amulet glowing with a newfound radiance. With the balance restored and peace reigning once more, she knew that her journey was far from over. But as long as the elements whispered their secrets to her soul, she would always rise to defend the world she called home. In the aftermath of the battle, Etheria slowly began to heal from the wounds inflicted by the conflict. The Elemental Council, recognizing Lyra's bravery and sacrifice, bestowed upon her the title of Elementalist, a revered guardian tasked with maintaining the balance between the Elemental factions. As an Elementalist, Lyra traveled the vast expanse of Etheria, her amulet serving as a beacon of hope for those in need. Alongside her loyal companions, she ventured into the farthest reaches of the land, extinguishing wildfires, quelling floods, and restoring harmony wherever chaos threatened to reign. But even as peace settled over Etheria, whispers of unrest lingered in the shadows. The followers of the Voidcaller, though weakened, still plotted in the darkness, seeking to exploit the fractures and the fragile peace that Lyra had fought so hard to preserve. With each passing day, Lyra knew that her duty as an elementalist was far from over. Though the battles may change and new challenges may arise, she remained steadfast in her commitment to protect the world she held dear. For as long as the elements whispered their secrets to her soul, she would always rise to defend Etheria from the forces of darkness. And in doing so, she would ensure that the legacy of the Elementalist lived on for generations to come.